Now, a lot of people are upset uh, that the NSA is spying in on Americans, li listening in our phone calls. They say, well, whoa, 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 we're not listening, listen, necessarily listening in on all of your calls, but we are getting the metadata. Now, yesterday, we showed you sometimes what they do with metadata, not here in the US, but in Pakistan, Yemen, and Somalia. Sometimes they take the metadata and kill people based off of it. That's what they use for drone strikes. They don't know who's holding the phone. They don't even know if the phone has the right SIM card or not, but they use the metadata to do drone strikes. But don't worry about the metadata they're collecting here. Now, look, I'm not saying they're going to do that tomorrow, but it is troubling that they're collecting that information. Now, I'm not the only one who thinks that. Progressives across the country think that, but do so do a lot of conservatives. Now, this is a great moment where we have bipartisanship, where we both care about the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. That's great. So in several different states, including Maryland, where the NSA headquarters happens to be at Fort Meade, they are now considering legislation to literally turn the NSA's lights out. Awesome. In Maryland, it's actually eight Republicans who are putting the, together this bill. And Mediate explains the bill would cut off all material support, participation, or assistance in any form from the state, its residents, and its businesses to the NSA's Fort Meade headquarters. Now, that could be slightly devastating. First of all, they need a tremendous amount of energy and water to run their servers and to cool their servers. So without that energy and water, they ain't got no servers, and then they can't spy in on us, at least from that location. It's kind of an interesting idea. By the way, you would also lose air conditioning in the summer. You would also lose the water in the bathrooms. <laughs> making it a little difficult. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of love this idea. I think it's ballsy. And US News is reporting about it. They say the bill would also ban the use of the NSA-derived evidence in state courts and prevent state universities from partnering with the NSA on research. Now, that's pretty badass. Now, if you think that's badass, wait till you get a load of the third provision. State or local officials ignoring the NSA sanctions would be fired. Local governments refusing to comply would lose state grant funds and companies would be forever barred from state contracts. So they're not playing. Now, Maryland's not the only uh, place that's considering this. Five different bills have been introduced in five different states where the NSA resides and, and has offices, and they're all considering shutting off the NSA's power. It is a unique idea, one I had not considered, and one that is very interesting. Now, understand, look, the states are Arizona, California, Tennessee, Washington, and Maryland. Now, and Utah is a huge center that they're building. They have not yet introduced legislation. But that's obviously blue states and red states in a lot of these areas. The bills are bipartisan, introduced by Democrats and Republicans. Uh, and they actually give a damn about the, uh, the Fourth Amendment. I, it's led, a lot of these attacks are led by the Tenth Amendment Center, which means that they're a center-right group and care more about the Tenth Amendment, but good, hey, Tenth Amendment is states' rights. And here are the states saying, well, I got a right to turn off your power and water because you're not listening to the Fourth Amendment. Great. And the Bill of Rights Defense Committee is involved as well. And, uh, and in Arizona, it has already passed committee. It's gotten approval by the Senate Government and Environmental uh, Committee, 4 to 2 in the beginning of February. The Maryland requires a three-fifths vote, so it'll be a little harder to do, but it's the beginning of the fight. And I like that at least there are some Americans that are still concerned about our Constitution, whether they're progressives, conservatives, or libertarians. Welcome to the fight. The battle is joined. Great to have you here.